Welcome to this Australian Earth Science Education video about water. We will compare the properties of water with those of ethanol and oil to learn why water is so wonderful and vital to life on Earth. In our first experiment, we will compare densities. You will need water, ethanol, commonly sold as methylated spirits, vegetable oil, a digital scale, a small container, and a measuring cup. Zero the scale with your container on it. Carefully measure out each liquid and pour it into the container. Record the mass and volume for each. After each liquid, make sure to clean and dry the container. Ethanol and water can go down the sink, but not oil. Put used oil into a waste container for disposal or pour it onto soil outside. Now you can calculate the density by dividing the mass by volume. I used 80 milliliters of each liquid, and here are my results. You can see that the water has a higher density than the other liquids. One weird fact about water is that the solid form, ice, has a lower density than the liquid. That is why ice floats on liquid water. Our second experiment compares the surface tension of liquids. You will need water, ethanol, vegetable oil, coins, and droppers. In this experiment, you carefully drop the liquid onto the coin until it overflows. You count the number of drops before the overflow. Run at least six trials, thoroughly cleaning and drying the coin for each trial. Here are my raw data for the experiment. The six trials for ethanol are all consistent. However, I did 11 trials for water because my initial results were inconsistent. There was an element of skill that I developed with time. After the additional repetitions, I decided that my results with 15 and 23 drops were outliers and should be excluded from analysis. The data for oil looked consistent except for the trial with 16 drops. That value was excluded. Now that the outliers have been removed, I've calculated the average of my reliable data. Water has a much higher number of drops, reflecting its greater surface tension. Surface tension causes water to form spherical droplets and allows some small animals, like this insect, to walk across the surface of water. Our third experiment explores the effectiveness of each liquid as a solvent. You will need the three liquids, some common solids, sugar, salt, and flour, three glasses, and spoons. I used my measuring cup from experiment one to pour 80 milliliters of liquid in each glass and a measuring spoon to add 2.5 milliliters of each solid to the glasses. Stir and observe the solids. Stir each glass three times, allowing any solid to settle in between the trials. The results for this experiment are qualitative observations. We describe what happened. It was clear that water is a good solvent for sugar and salt, but flour is insoluble in all of the liquids. The solvent capacity of water allows the molecules of life to be dissolved and to interact inside cells. The unique properties of water are vital for life on Earth. I hope you've enjoyed these experiments with water. Look for the Wonderful Water 2 video to learn about the heat capacity of water.